If you're looking for a better way to host your Zoom calls, meetings, webinars, one-on-one -on -one sessions, or even just the internal meetings with your team, I highly recommend the Stream Deck. Now, the Stream Deck is a USB device that plugs into your computer and it can map all different types of inputs. For today, we're just gonna focus on Zoom and I'm gonna show you how easy that is right now. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is open up the Stream Deck software. You can see I have it running here because that's how I record everything, whether it is what you're looking at right now with Ecamm Live or on Zoom call or even to manage my Spotify playlist. Yes, it can do everything from Photoshop to DaVinci Resolve to Adobe Premiere. If it's a program on your computer, the chances are you can use the Stream Deck to make the process easier, smoother, and might I add a little bit more fun. So there's so much to it. Today, we're just gonna focus on Zoom calls. So the first thing you're gonna do is go into this icon here and it brings up this menu. There's a ton here, sound effects, music, icons, plugins. You can get as fancy as you want, but for today, let's keep it simple. I'm gonna go into search and just type in Zoom. Going to go ahead and click install. Install. Just show you how quick this is. Done. Stream Deck. Now it should show up here. And if not, all you want to do is quit and restart the Stream Deck software. So let's just type in Zoom. Here we go. And as you can see, you have all these pre made options mute, video toggle, share toggle, focus, leave the meeting, whether you want to record, ask all to unmute mute all participants and custom shortcuts. Let's go over that. But before I do that, what I recommend, if you're using it for a specific application, you don't want it to get confusing, you have the option for all these profiles. So I'm just gonna go into a new profile, done. As you can see, this cleared it out. And if you were looking at my Stream Deck itself, it is a blank screen just like this. So what you see here is what you're gonna see on the physical device. That's how great this is. So let's just start with the basics. I'm gonna do a mute button, a video button here, share, focus. So that means if you have a bunch of other windows up and you wanna come back to the Zoom call, let's say you have a web browser up, you're taking notes on something and you wanna quickly go back, you can select this here. You can leave the meeting. So if you're the one running the meeting, instead of clicking the end and that awkward, like where it takes 10 seconds to say bye and everyone's just staring at you, now you can just press one button. Um, we're gonna do a custom shortcut also, which we will go through. And then I also like, in case you want to quickly record the meeting, maybe you forgot, maybe you had a software that's supposed to run it, and then you notice it's not recording, this is nice to have it right there. So in addition to the buttons, and you can just leave it like this and not have any text show up, or if you'd like to, you can just click each one, and as you can see, the options change for each. So I can go in here and just type mute, I can type video and I can type in share screen. And this just gives you a reference in case you don't know the buttons, you don't use it often. It's very easy to know what you're touching here. Record, we're gonna change this. We're gonna change this to um, end because that's the meeting. The other one also we could do too, which I like, is mute all participants. So if you're hosting the meeting, we've all been there where someone has their audio on and without a doubt, there's a dog barking, a kid yelling, whatever it is. So an easy way, especially if you have a webinar and you're hosting it, it's a great way to get everyone to cut off the audio and keep the focus on your speaker. Um, so I'll just put mute all for this one. So for the keyboard shortcuts, what we're gonna need to do is you're gonna actually go into your Zoom settings here. So we're, we opened up Zoom here and you're just gonna go up to preferences. If you're on a Mac, you can hit command comma, or you can just go into uh, Zoom on the top left, scroll down to uh, preferences, click that, and your settings should pop up. So we're gonna go all the way down here, see right here, keyboard shortcuts. Now you have a whole list of different shortcuts that you can use here. And on the right here, enable global shortcut. I don't prefer to use this. However, what's nice about this is that if you have this selected and you are, let's say in a Chrome browser, taking notes or you're in another application, so Zoom isn't the focused application, it's not the one brought to the front, if you hit a command, it will still work. 
However, that can cause some issues if it's the same shortcut as the application you have open. So I click that off and I just make sure when I'm selecting something or changing something that Zoom is in my focused app. It is the one up front. What I like here, and if you don't have too many cameras, you can go to switch camera. And that says it's com shift command N. So I'm gonna go ahead and minus this here. We're gonna go into, we'll have to exit this out or I'll just scroll this over. Here we go. Just keep that in the window for you guys so we can see what's going on here. We're gonna call this um, cam switch to keep it short. You know, it'll run out of room. You can also hit uh, return on here if you want it over two lines. Um, as you can see, it goes into the app. So I, I prefer a cleaner look. I'll just do cam switch here and the shortcut to run. So you have to physically type it out. It doesn't just map what you're doing on the keyboard. So we're gonna physically type shift. We're gonna use the plus command plus N. Okay, and that's all you have to do. So now when I hit that button here, see how it's selected there, it came up because I'm pushing it on the stream deck, you would go into Zoom and test these out. Now, in addition, the other things I like to do, apart from Zoom, but I find very effective, I have the Stream Deck Plus and I love, love these dials. So what I can do is go into these dials, we're gonna go into System, Multimedia, click and drag, and this is something that's already pre-installed, and it's just the volume. So what I like about that is when you're doing the call, you can turn people up. If it gets a little loud, you have a loud speaker. You can quickly turn it down without fussing around and hitting the buttons. It's just a smoother experience. I have the Elgato lights, and what I love about them is that they will work directly with this Stream Deck. No more clicking. I don't have to bring up any software applications. So I can just go to brightness, and then I have the Elgato T light, key light, and I'm just gonna put key. And what that allows me to do, and I have this plugged in, I'm using it here, so just to show you, I can quickly turn it off, turn it on, and then I can dial it to what I want. Now, additionally, if you're like me and like to have everything just perfect, just so, go ahead and adjust the temperature. And I select this to the lowest step size, so it's not jumping too high, it just allows you to fine tune, and I'm just gonna go ahead and type key. I also love that it has the image here, you can definitely see what's going on um, on that. So as you can see, I can make this bluer if I'd like, and I can go all the way and make it a bit warmer, depending on the look. So a lot of times I just dial it in, season it to taste as they say, and that's it. We're not gonna make this a very long video because I think it's so simple, and I love that about the Stream Deck. We don't need 20 minutes to explain everything. So if you haven't tried this out, you have a Stream Deck, and you're on Zoom calls, you're hosting Zoom calls, try this out. It will make a huge difference for you and your audience. Thanks.